Facebook and Twitter are just the names that I just threw that in. Anyway, but does Twitter belong in the hands of a woman sitting behind bars, accused of brutally murdering her ex-boyfriend? Obviously, Jody Arias, facing the death penalty in Arizona, who's been sending out her thoughts 140 characters at a time through her friend. Take a look at this. She'll call and say, hey, you know, I have a quote, or we'll talk about it, and she'll say, let's, let's tweet it. Sometimes she'll say, let's tweet, and then um, we'll take it, and we won't, because she'll say, no, nah, that's not do it. I do think it's her way of uh, getting out her frustration, because uh, she doesn't really have a chance to say much. She doesn't really have a chance to say much. She was on the stand for what, a year and a half? With me is attorney Jeff Gold, who joins us from Denver, Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Jr., and criminal defense attorney Linda Kenny Bott. All right, guys, can these Twitter messages be used against her at the trial or in her favor on appeal if she's convicted? Peter, I'll go to you on this one. You know, that's interesting. There have been some cases where out-of-state, uh, out-of-court statements have been used uh, against uh, a defendant, especially in sentencing. We just saw that here in New York with regard to uh, the woman who was passing secrets for the terrorists. Yeah, it can be used, absolutely. Oh, all right, but not dur during the trial now? I, I, I don't know she's coming now. back to understand. We don't even know if she's actually saying this stuff. You know, imagine Al Capone was doing this. Is this the new thing in American jurisprudence where criminal defendants are going to get on the air? Well, if the judge, judge allows it, I mean, but then again, Jeff Gold, First Amendment, can the judge stop it? No, she has every right to uh, to blog. She's doing it through a friend. There's a uh, there's, uh, First Amendment, after all, and it's the number one, number one amendment. Now, nothing the judge can do about it. All right, Linda, you agree with that? Nothing the judge can do about it, but I'm not convinced it's not her friend trying to capitalize on something. I'm not convinced it's her, even though the sheriff said that they talk on the phone every night. 